Hey viewer, this is your royal majesty, the CDI queen. This video doesn't have commentary because I wanted to have a nice solid playthrough of the game out there without any commentary. There is a lot to say about the game, so I just wanted to say a couple of things before we get started. Number one, the disc that I currently have has some issues. The audio in the temples and the talking is a little loud, even though if I turn it down, it's still peaking for some reason. I think it has to do with the disc, because the one I originally had a long time ago that's now lost did not have that problem, or at least I don't think it did. So I did what I could to edit the sound, but it's still problematic, so I apologize. I also wanted to add that there are supposed to be stars after the speeches in the Chamber of Pulsar at the end of each temple maze, and for some reason those stars don't load. It's okay, because we can still hack our way in at the end. I think that's a common problem, because again, with my original disc, the one in the Temple of Hod never loaded the stars, so if I wanted to play the game, I had to guess which one that was. I guess that's something that happens a lot with these discs. Don't ask me why. This is a game that is a real favorite of mine, and I plan to make some videos talking more in-depth about it. There's a lot to say, even though there's not a lot they say. Well, there is a lot they say, but a lot they don't say, so look forward to more content on that. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy this playthrough. It's been a while since I've played it, so I'm not super good at it anymore. Despite the fact that when I was a kid, I got so used to playing it, I think I could get through the asteroid fields on the first level without taking any collateral damage. Which is pretty cool, and a little bit sad. That's not the case anymore. Enjoy! Pour découvrir l'univers de Keter, choisissez l'une de ses options. To discover the universe of Keter, choose one of these options.
broadcast of non-deciphered message. Automatic orbit around Ketha activated. Representation of your celestial father, Enoi, he who reigns over all galaxies. Long ago in the Orion Nebula, I prepared you for this mission. You must save the planet Kether from the forces of evil. Cork is holding a prisoner on the planet. She is Eta Kareen, Princess of Wisdom. We wish her to be saved. My light shines upon you, Melkor. Ionic teleport to combat stations activated. Sidreal vision activated. Helmet activated. Take off. You are switching to active status. There is no chance, no random luck. You forge your destiny with each of your actions. Never admit defeat. You are what you do. Look at the star which can save you.
Questioning central computer. Translation ongoing. Analysis of sublight waves indicates vanished civilizations. Rays of the Sun of Wisdom have been extinguished for 6,000 years. To go there where the sun no longer shines, turn each square and remember its position. Display the Hockmat blazons in pairs. In the five chambers of the temple, the only place where you will find a shelter from Cork, the masters of the past, increase your energy and activate Pulsar. In chamber six, the Pulsar of Cosmic Memory will set free Eta Karim's message.
Serpents of fire appear on the horizon. The stars are losing their colors. Thousands of vessels fill the sky. The year 11,993 of the fourth cycle. The Armada has been destroyed near the star Polaris. Our planet is now under Cork domination. At the dawn of the fifth cycle, our galaxy topples into chaos. Remember the number of stars which will allow you to open the airlock of the Cork spaceship. Immediate takeoff. We are leaving the Temple of Hawkman. 